Hey folks, we're answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community. And today, we're troubleshooting a missing user ID when SAML mapping. This area is something that can occur with SAML enterprise connections. And it will occur when the SAML connection on the Auth0 side is configured to generate a user ID based on an attribute that did not appear in the SAML response sent from the identity provider. You can configure which attribute you would like to have included in the user ID, either with the Mappings tab here, or on the Main Settings tab with the User ID attribute. To troubleshoot this, a good first step is to check the decoded SAML response to make sure all of the expected attributes are coming through. To find this, you will need to enable debug mode for the connection. You can then go back to the log. Scroll down to find the SAML response. You can copy this value and paste it at samltool.io. If you then scroll down, you can see the attributes that are coming from the identity provider. In this case, we have name identifier and email address. If there's a value that you're expecting to come that you don't see here, you'll need to check with your identity provider for a misconfiguration. In this example, the identity provider is sending a name identifier with a unique identifier and an email address. When we go back to the mapping tab for our connection, we see that name identifier is being used for the user ID value. So we would expect this to work. However, back on the main settings tab, email address is configured as well. If this value is set, it takes precedence over the field mapping done on the mappings tab. Email underscore address was not the name of any attribute coming from the identity provider, which is why we saw the error message that no user ID was found. To resolve this, we can go back to the SAML response. Copy and paste the name of the value that we would like to use. We want the email address, so we will copy this. We can go back to the settings page here and paste this value in. When we hit save, we'll now see that a successful login will occur. Go to an example log here. And the user ID is now set to use the strategy, the name of the connection, and then the email address for the user. So today we went over troubleshooting a missing used ID when SAML mapping. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube and join us for more content on community.auth0.com. Thank you.